Hi, everybody. I've been asked to create a video on what to do with experience cloud sites and how to create them. So the first thing I want to start with is the reason I use experience cloud. I have a personal reason, and that's to create a portfolio. Experience cloud is a great way to showcase yourself and create a personal brand so people can learn more about you. Experience cloud sites are also used for clients where they create portals. For example, Hulu uses one. When you log on to their site, you can browse and look around, and they also have Salesforce knowledge articles. I have created experience cloud sites for clients that use them as a public facing way to spread awareness about specific programs or have people log in. For instance, if you had a site where people who were part of a membership could log in and see extra content, you could do that as well. Right now, I want to show you how to create an experienced cloud site. You do not have to be a Salesforce client. You can go get a Trailhead playground or a developer playground. If you look in the URL here, I use developer. But for this purpose, I just opened up a Trailhead playground. You can see in the URL, it says Mindful Panda because they always give them odd names. You go to your setup menu and go to setup, which I've already done in this tab. And the first thing you do before you can create Experience Cloud Site is you go to Digital Experiences. You can see I started to type it in the search box and I get one item, settings. So I'm going to click on the settings. And when this opens up, a very simple task, I'm going to click Enable Digital Experiences. I'm just going to go with the default right now as far as the domain. I'm just going to hit save. I do have another video in my Experience Cloud Tips playlist that'll show you how to change your domain name to customize it better. This is not buying a domain, but this is just customizing one you have. So it's free. I've customized mine here. Go back to settings, can enable it and hit save. I will get a warning. Yes, I want to do that. It's basically registering the domain name it gave me, which are similar ones down here you can see. Once that happens, it will take you to all sites. Now, if I left and came back, let's go to the object manager, but then I came back and I typed in digital settings again, I can get right back there. Let's close that. I can see all my settings here. And then if I refresh the page and type in digital settings now, because I've refreshed and it's registered the domain, I have more options. The first thing I want to do is go to all sites. From all sites, I'm going to click new to create a site. The first thing it's going to do is ask me what kind of site. It's going to give you a couple different options. LWC will be a few of the options. That means Lightning Web Components. If you know how to code, yes, you can use those and customize them more. You have a microsite, which has LWR, LWR, a help center. But we're going to go with the easiest one to do. This is all drag and drop, and we're going to pick customer service. When I click that, it's going to say, let's get started. So I'll just say, get started. I'm going to name it. And we'll name this Playground. If I wanted to make my own URL, I could name it whatever I want. I have one that looks like I did Salesforce Community. If not, I just leave it blank and it will replace it with that. And since I already know it's going to replace it with that, I don't need to. I'm going to hit Create. It's going to take a few minutes to create it. Generally, it doesn't take too long. And then it's going to ask me, to make another decision in just a minute. So I'll come back when that's ready. Okay, that took just under three minutes and it brings me to this page where I see a lot of different options. There's the builder, moderation, content management, administration, dashboards, gamification, and guided setup. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my builder. 
it's always going to come up with this little box to tell me things. You can follow along with the box if you want. I don't want to. And this is what I see. This is very basic, but yes, you can customize it to look something like this. You just have to work at it. There's some basic things on the page. We have the navigation menu and notice as I scroll over things, these are called components or these boxes and it'll tell you what they are. This is the global search peer-to-peer -peer communities. And the more I roll over things, I can see what is here. I do not have to keep anything that is on this page. And as you can see by my portfolio, I didn't. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to start customizing the site. Now you've created your first experience cloud site.